I'm Deborah Seif, and today we're going to be investigating the wet pond. So I'm here today with Greg Glitzer of Gilmore and Associates, and he's going to tell us everything we need to know about the wet pond. So good morning. Good morning, Deborah. So why don't you tell me first, what exactly is a wet pond? Well, when we're talking about stormwater management facilities, a wet pond is a facility that maintains a permanent pool of water year-round, or at least during non-storm periods. Storm water from runoff events is stored in the elevation above the permanent pool, as you see here. When housing developments or shopping centers are built, debris and sediment increase because of site disturbance. Once entered into rivers or streams, these particles reduce water quality. Wet ponds help to decrease this problem. During uh, construction particularly, and also after construction, any sediment-laden runoff will come into the pond and it provides a big mixing volume where sediment can actually settle out into the bottom of the pond itself. Okay. A lot of the pollutants within the uh, stormwater runoff are attached to sediment, so it's very, uh, very important that you settle those, uh, those particles out. So that they don't end up somewhere else. Down the stream. Right. Although wet ponds are one solution to stormwater runoff, they work best in developments over 10 acres and when coupled with other best management practices. Anytime you can combine a wet pond with another BMP, uh, we often refer to that as training or connecting them in like in a train uh, that can greatly uh, affect and uh, increase the water quality benefits of the pond and, and the BMPs. How many wet ponds are in this development? Uh, there are eight ponds that are used for stormwater management. There is another, an additional wet pond that's used as a uh, wetland mitigation site for the project as well. And are they all working together, sort of in one big system? Yes, they are. They all drain down to one uh, main tributary. Why don't you tell me a little bit about what the benefits are to, I guess, the development and also to the environment? Uh, we have a great deal of settling of particulates that come into the pond, sedimentation, and we also have an improvement in water quality due to the biological activities that happen in the pond itself and also provides the opportunity for recreation and development. Vegetation along the wet pond helps to stabilize the banks. It also helps to filter runoff that's coming in off of, like we see here, off of yard areas. Uh, trap some of those uh, uh, sediment that may be in the runoff. Also helps to uh, uptake some of the nutrients that may be coming off of uh, lawn fertilizers, those sort of things. So uh, vegetation can be very important. There is more involved with wet ponds than with other stormwater management systems. Greg explains how to minimize expenses and maintenance. In general, wet ponds will be more expensive than, say, a conventional dry detention basin, uh, just the amount of excavation, uh, additional excavation that's required, but a lot of those costs can be minimized through proper design. Uh, we talked about the benefit of wet pond in, the, uh, in its ability to trap sediment. Uh, well, that same ability is, uh, presents some long-term maintenance considerations where that sediment then has to be removed from the pond. Mm -hmm. However, if it's designed correctly uh, and equipped with either a sediment forebay or an accessible area uh, that can be easily cleaned out on a more periodic basis, then you don't have the need to go and drain the pond and remove sediment. Uh, also, having ponds situated in series will help, will help those mm -hmm. uh, maintenance costs uh, be reduced. I think the, the communities had a, uh, a responded to the ponds very positively. Um, when the uh, builder was marketing a lot of the homes that backed on uh, up to the ponds, uh, I believe that those were, were selling very well. In general, I think they're accepted very well in the community. <laughs>